we shall discuss one algorithm and that algorithm will check whether a decomposition is lossless or not. So here is the algorithm for us. So algorithm to check whether a decomposition is lossless. A relation scheme, so that will be the input here. So a relation scheme R containing A1, A2, A3, dot 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 A k number of attributes and it has got decomposed into the relation schemes that is R1, R2, R3, dot 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 Ri, dot 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 R n number of relations in this way. So remember we are having k number of attributes and we are having n number of decomposed relations. So output will be that whether the decomposition is lossless or lossy. So it has to be proved, it has to be found out. Now we shall form one table, the name of the table will be table lossy which will be having n number of rows and k number of columns. So 1 to n number of rows that means we shall have that number of rows which is equal to the number of decomposed relations and k number of columns, the column numbering will be ranging from 1 to k that means we shall be having, we are, we, we are having k number of attributes. So according to that we will be having k number of columns here is used to test for the type of decomposition. Row i is for relation scheme ri of the decomposed relation and column j is for the attribute aj in the original relation. So accordingly we shall go. So ith row means that is the ri that is the decomposed relation ri and we are having this one say jth column means so we are having aj attribute corresponding. For each decomposed relation ri do, so for each and every decomposed relation ri where i is ranging from 1 to n, if an attribute aj is included in ri then table lossy ith row jth column will be having alpha a. So alpha a will be the respective value we shall be putting. Otherwise at that very location we shall put table lossy ij ith row jth column will be equal to beta ia. So here place a symbol alpha a in row y and column j and place a symbol beta ia otherwise. So in this way we shall fill up this table lossy table. Change is equal to true. We are making this change is equal to true. So change is nothing but a boolean variable. So it will get initialized with true here at first. Why change do? So when the change will remain true, the while will go on executing. This is the body of the while construct. So for each functional dependency x determines y in f do. So for each and every functional dependency which was given as input, we shall continue this one. If rho i and rho j exist such that same symbol appear, same symbol means either alpha values are same or beta values are same, same symbol appears in each column corresponding to the attribute of x that is the left hand side of the functional dependency. That means those attributes which are on the left hand side of the functional dependency. So for those attributes if I find two rows that is i and j and for them these columns against those attributes participating in x are having the same symbols that is same alpha or same beta in the case then if one of the symbols in the y column is alpha r then make the other also alpha r. So if at the ith row the respective attribute in the y that is on the right hand side of the functional dependency for the ith attribute if I find it is filled up with alpha r then for the jth attribute for the jth row the same column will be filled up with alpha r. But if they are filled up filled up with this beta pm and beta qm then make both of them say beta pm that means I shall have to make them equal same. So beta pm beta qm will be replaced by beta pm only. So in this way for each and every functional dependency this process will be continued. But if I find that we are, we are not finding any functional dependency for which it is happening then we shall make this change is equal to false and then this while construct will get terminated because it is working when the change is equal to true only. So in this way this while will go on executing. Now after coming out from here we shall go for this i is equal to 1 so from the very first row we are going to check 
lossy is equal to true so we are making this lossy one boolean variable with the value true while lossy and i is less than equal to n that means until i reach to the last row of the respective table lossy table for each row i of table lossy if all symbols are alphas that means if i get that all symbols are alphas then lossy is equal to false so if i find a single row where all the row elements are filled up with alpha values then we shall make lossy is equal to false that means next time as the lossy has become false and two conditions are connected by and so this while cannot execute because in case of and both the conditions should remain true but if the lossy is equal to false is there then i shall come out from the while otherwise i shall increase the value of i and i shall go on checking for the for value of i is equal to 1 to n that means for all rows of the table lossy so in this way we can find whether the table uh, whether the decomposition is lossless or not lossy so here we have discussed the algorithm that means the main purpose of this algorithm is that we shall be given with the decomposed relations and the set of functional dependencies and at the end we shall tell whether the table is lossy or lossless so after getting this one i think our conception will get more clear if you go through some examples please watch next videos where we will we'll be discussing that how this algorithm can be applied on a given problem. Thanks for watching this video.